Well, let me throw out the alternate uh, idea, which is this, that shooting at women in the truck and then shooting at this other individual without even really knowing that this this is the, the guy that you're looking for. To some people, it suggests that police want to silence Dorner for some reasons that are unknown at this point. In other words, that there has to be more to it for police to be um, shooting a truck from the back 30 times in a rush to kill whoever is inside before even engaging the fact that in, engaging who's inside, which happens to be two women. There must be some other reason we don't know about why this guy speaking out is something LAPD doesn't want. It's very conspiratorial, though, because well, I he, imagine what else could it be? He's already said why he thinks LAPD mishandled his employment there. What else could there really be that isn't in his manifesto? Yeah, I mean, he did speak of, of corruption, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's a pretty broad term. Um, maybe maybe things were as crazy as uh, as he claims they were. Maybe they do want to silence him, but open fire on a different make, different color truck. With doesn't a, make sense. With a, a short, thin white guy in it. Something I mean, about it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even though it's very clear that these cops are not elites, uh, in any way, um, this still seems out of the ordinary, even for a completely paranoid cop going on a manhunt. Exactly. Even by that standard, which is an unfortunate standard that we are now familiar with, it still seems seems off. Now, here's the other thing. Let's address very quickly, guys. The There are some groups that are popping up on Facebook that support Chris Dorner, okay, that they say he's doing the right thing because the only way to get corruption out of LAPD is to start taking lives. I completely reject that. I have a huge problem with police corruption. We cover it on this program all the time. We uh, what else? I mean, it's a problem we're aware of and we're, we don't shy away from it. In fact, we're often criticized for being too hard on so-called police corruption when sometimes it's just stupidity. It's not corruption. It's just stupidity or ignorance. But how is going out there with this 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 weaponry and shooting at police officers if you think, well, it's just going to shake things up and make the department change. I don't follow the logic of how that would lead to less corruption. I simply don't. Yeah. Can't you just call the FBI? Well, no, I mean, you can't because we know about how these internal affairs things go. But Natan, do you understand what I'm saying? E even if you agree that the, we need to solve the corruption issue, how is one guy, a former LAPD officer shooting, shooting up police going to really solve corruption? It seems to me like the only way to get at police corruption or really any major issue that's going on is to get a broad base of public support. And it seems like armed conflict is not the way to get broad public support. No. If anything, I would support protests, civil disobedience, um, lobbying Congress, but definitely not, or state, state and local government, too. But it's definitely not... Uh, you know, fighting with arms against quote-unquote tyranny or anything no. along those lines. Very curious to see how this turns out. Though. Yeah, same here.